So I would kind of describe you as this marketplace that empowers women and brings their work into this one-stop shop that people can shop handmade things made yes. in Armenia yes. and their purchases have an impact behind yeah. it. This is Patil Tutunjian coming to you from Yerevan and today we're going to spend the day with HDIF which is Homeland Development Initiative Foundation. We're going to get some behind the scenes of this foundation. It's a social enterprise and we're going to learn about them and how what they do and how they do it. So let's go in. Side. Hello, Hello team! Hello. We're not gonna pretend like it's the first time I'm saying hi because my bag is right over here. So this is some of the amazing products and we're gonna get all behind the scenes of how they came to life and what you can do with them. And now he, we're here with Tim who's gonna tell us a bit more about why he started this foundation. I have lived in Armenia for 22 years and I represent Norway and Finland here as their honorary consul and after years and years of reporting back to Helsinki and also about all the problems in Armenia about about the poverty about the domestic violence about the stunting in children about immigration and all that other stuff I just decided it's time we did something about it instead of sitting around writing reports about it and complaining so yeah 10 years ago founded this and we've been growing ever since and we're doing great and like this thing for example this is Jalo the fire dog and this is a project together with the Armenian Tree Project. Nice. And this is one of their mascots. And we have that hand knit up in bed. And then we have the jacket for it, <laughs> hopefully made by Syrian Armenians. So this is an example of how HDF, uh, it's, it's all a puzzle. And we put it together and we try to employ people as much as possible. Create jobs, create stability, create prosperity. I love that. So you also collaborate with different organizations, uh, so not just individuals. So that's amazing to bring the whole picture together. Awesome. And Jalo is very cute. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank Bye. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here with Lilith right now, and she's going to tell there. us a little bit about what she does. She's part of this amazing team. And then this is their office, actually. Was it 18 Isagian Street? Yes. Am I allowed yes. to give out that address? Yeah. Okay, uh, so this is 18 Isagian Street. We're at their office, but then after she gives us a bit of a brief, we're gonna take you on a little bit of a stroll in Yerevan to show you where else you can access the products. Also some behind the scenes of one of the artisans behind them. So Lilith, tell us about HDIF. Uh, so hi everyone, I'm a marketing specialist at uh, HDIF. So uh, basically we have a lot of projects going on here right now. Uh, we're trying to also um, keep tie with our producer partners, trying to show uh, what uh, their products, how these products um, are made, are done, these beautiful women working in the regions of the country. Uh, so. Basically, HDF is about uh, like empowering women, mm -hmm. like overall empowering women. We uh, giving um, those women an opportunity to work who have uh, who have kind of uh, like handicrafting skills, so they can support their families, um, work in their regions, and also. This is kind of a, uh, let's say, regional promotion of Armenia because uh, we we know that uh, everything is centralized in Yerevan. So mm -hmm. this is a this is a great opportunity for them to work there, to live there, to support their families. And so when was the foundation founded? I guess two thousand thirteen. <laughs> it's founded in two thousand thirteen. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And um, how many artisans or like women do you work with? Two thirty-five. Um, 
Two thirty-five. Actually, recently, oh, yeah. I'm actually, recently we had a, a report, uh, annual report for WFTO because we are the member of WFTO, uh, one in the country and also in the region mm -hmm. uh, that we are experiencing world fair trade. And uh, right now we are also having um, like a campaign, a big campaign about WFTO mm -hmm. in Armenia because we want to educate our audience uh, what it uh, what it's like to be a member of WFTO and also how we are trying to manage to keep all these principles of WFTO and it's it's a, it's very huge and uh, I hope that we can kind of uh, reach uh, the goals that we, we have like, come up with the beginning of the campaign. Nice and for people who don't know what does WFTO stand for? Uh, it's World Fair Trade Organization mm -hmm. so it's it's actually a huge thing and uh, the mm, the organizations that are included in this uh, in this community uh, experiencing only like fair trade mm -hmm. uh, um, you can see there also well, I'll show you there mm -hmm. we have a 10 principles there we are trying to uh, follow all these uh, principles in our everyday work mm -hmm. in our uh, like uh, in our communication processes and it, it's it's huge and we are very proud that uh, we we are all, the only one, not in Armenia but also in the uh, like region mm -hmm. uh, included in this organization. So it's it's a huge advantage for us, and we are trying to uh, keep up with that. That's amazing. And so I would kind of describe you as this marketplace that empowers women and brings their work into this one-stop shop that people can shop handmade things made yes. in Armenia, yes. and they're purchases have an impact behind yeah. it so you know you're contributing to something bigger than you know just shopping yeah I personally learned about you guys during uh, last new year like last Christmas and the second I found out I was in Canada and I did a lot of shopping online uh, because I wanted each gift that I purchased to yeah. have some sort of a meaning behind it so obviously you have an online um, store I guess yeah. let's call it so what would that address be for people who are interested in shopping online which I'll include in the yeah. description as well but. so uh, we have different profiles mm -hmm. and um, actually we are trying to keep all this reference together you know like Instagram Facebook LinkedIn Twitter we're trying to connect all our profiles together I mean our main shop um, is uh, by Armenian and Shopify. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all our customers can shop there, buy the products that they want. Actually, now we have our Christmas collection um, in, on both platforms. Oh my God, already? Yes, already <laughs> wow. because uh, it's, uh, it took, um, sometimes it took a long time to, to uh, ship from Armenia mm -hmm. to worldwide. That's why we already have our Christmas collection. And you can very easily, it's like very flexible um, mm -hmm. to use both by Armenian platform and also Shopify platform. So yeah, so to confirm, there's sh shipping worldwide, so anybody can shop. Uh, and then we're also gonna find out some places in Yerevan where you can purchase the items. And I also wanna mention, if you guys have watched two videos ago, uh, I've done a coverage of the My Armenia Handmade Festival, yeah. which I'm seeing a lot of the vendors also, because it's it just, it, I'm so happy to see all these things come to life and, and have all these products kind of displayed and get like recognition yeah. because these women like they're busy with the creation and yeah. then you guys are kind of doing that like gapping the bridge of bringing them to the marketplace yeah. so i think this is amazing thank you so much for all the work you're doing thank you very much for coming of course and yeah. we're gonna now take you on a tour let's go We convinced two more people to be on camera and tell us a little bit about their story. So, name? Um, my name's Sawi Delanchin. I'm from Australia. I'm currently doing Birthright and I've been with HDIF for the past month and a half. Um, I found out about HDIF about three years ago when they had their shop in the city and completely fell in love with it. I still use all their stuff that I bought today. Um, but I love working here because I love their mission. I love how they try to empower women. I think that is something that's 
very new and needed in Armenia and they're doing a really great job at it. That's awesome. So I don't know if you know this, but I'm also a Birthright Armenia alum. Oh. At this point, so I volunteered with Birthright Armenia. So when you kind of got here to do the volunteering, did you request to be part of HDIF specifically? Well, I'm curious. Actually, before I got here, they actually like sent me HDIF. They're like, oh, this HDIF. And I was like, yep, heard of it, done. No worries. Let's do it. And they're like, oh, like I sent the message before they even sent me the description of what they are. That's awesome. And I was like, yep. No worries. That's like That's a fun. match made in heaven, in a sense. <laughs> Pretty much. How long are you staying? Do you know? Um, I'll be in HDF till the end of September, and then Perfect. I'll move on to somewhere else for the two months. Nice. So hopefully you're enjoying your experience in Armenia. Love it. Always. Awesome. And we have a volunteer from uh, Russia. Yes, my name is Margarita. Uh, I was born and lived in Moscow, but I moved here two years ago. So now I live in Armenia. And honestly, I just wanted uh, something to do for the summer but also something that would be useful for my country um, since I am Armenian. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed working here and uh, I think it's like a good experience for me because I am 16. So I came here like after school. Wow. <laughs> um, you know, uh, yeah. And I enjoy learning new things and helping my country. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, you guys. And as I see Lilith away from you guys, I'll say bye to you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so I stole Lilith away from the office and we're on Apovian Street right now going to Artbridge to show you the display of HCIS products there. So Artbridge and Green Bean on Cascade is the places where you can buy their stuff in Yerevan physically. As usual, there's the bus passing by behind us. So we'll see you at Artbridge. Wait, we're back. Lily just told me a fun fact that I didn't know Artbridge was the first cafe in Yerevan. I knew it has a history, but I didn't know it was the first. So we're going to the first cafe in Yerevan. You probably have seen Artbridge in a couple of my other videos. Okay, we'll see you there. I also need coffee, so this is gonna be good. So Lilith is pointing out that the sign that says we are 20 years old. So this is the cafe and inside it's like a bookstore it's a cafe and also kind of like a souvenir shop so you would find their products here with their tags i also really like the fact that the tags have the story of the artists who made the products ignore my nails what else do you want to show us lady this one's uh, our most popular products most armenian letters armenian letters that are like ornaments very cool yeah this is also ours. Oh yeah, I remember seeing. Oh my god! Oh my god! You dropped the hands. Ginelit. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And they make for awesome gifts. She's fixing it. She's fixing it. Mm -hmm. She fixed it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get a coffee break, and then we'll see you guys at the next spot. And then also while we're still here, uh, we want to tell people to like this video and share this yeah. video. Yeah. Like Patit. At like Fatin. Like Fatin. Please like me. <laughs> and also subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, let's go get coffee. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, Genos. We have our coffee now. We're gonna get a taxi and we're gonna go. So let's go. <laughs> We are at Dashir Mall right now. I'm walking backwards. We're gonna be visiting uh, one of the artisans' workshop, like I was mentioning, with Lilith. She's back in the frame. Um, so this one is actually Arika Marash Embroidery, which you guys already know. I'm a huge fan of. So they're also part of HDIF. So we're gonna see behind the scenes of how things are made today. Pare! 
We are right now at Arika's workshop. This is some of the displays they have. We're gonna go in and see the process of things being made. Lilith is already inside. <laughs> gonna show you here too. So this is the Marash embroidery. Oh, okay, so this is how the pomegranates are made. Teguz Marash, Sink Banikot, Ante Bikot. Ante Bikot, guys, you know I'm a Tatsi, so. So, Kodera, Maku, Gutenink, Murerun Mitch. Adikai, Kodunel Chuba. Adikai Kodzuneu Tuna, Nima, Marash, Vanikot, Antepikot, Vazikot, Poro, Haikakan Asena Kodzutuna, Nima, Baisak Neum, Vlag the Snake, Akmutiaman Nerunier, Yet Kentak Neru, the Sik, or Nagama Kentak Neru. We need Kentak Ned, Marashit Set Kodzo, Antepikotzo, the Sik, Yet Askeran, or Marashit Set Kodzo. As on for the North Collection, eh, what did it guarantee Hamad by the static? Now, if only Gashin Nero Gashin Gash Trama Banak Nero by Sakner, Yeva Knoti by Sakner. So I'll say it real quick in English. So the Armenian needlework that they do, it goes on. So now they have the new ornaments for Christmas. They have the uh, the pouches, the glasses cases, glass cases, glasses cases, yes. uh, wallets, and lots Zanyak. of items. So they have it on. So you'll find these on the HDIF collaboration. Necklaces. So you've been with HDI for five years, I believe. Lilith is destroying this place again. It's kind of her thing now. So she's been with HDI for five years and when she was working from home, uh, this opportunity allowed her to kind of expand the market and because of the collaboration with HDIF, uh, now the work is spread to a wider audience, I guess. Yeah. Well, my translation skills is not that great. So this is how the pomegranates are made. Malachas and Nakot to 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 Nakot to
ավենի պարակ, ավենի մետակսյա, ամեն ինչի վրա գնամ աշխատ ծվի, առավեր եվս Մարաշա Սերնակորդության նգարեն գտորի վրան, ատիկա ինչի լոգտակոցի ատգտորը կարող ենք որ մենք իրի համար գնակ զարդի համար, բիժույի համար, սեղանի սպտոցի համար, հակուստի համար, բայսակներու և առավեր հիմա անշուշ � So as she does that, I will tell you kind of translate it in English. So the cool thing about the Marash embroidery is that it can be done on leather and basically a lot of different materials, which means that you can include it in your day-to-day, -day, I guess we can say weave it into your day-to-day, -day, trying to be funny here. Uh, and you can do it on clothing and what else did we say? Wallets and basically everything <laughs> item. <laughs> Guys, I will also include the uh, address, the website for Arika Embroidery in the description in case you want to check out their full collection. Huh? On trend, we also have fanny packs. Okay, thank you. This is Oh, we're also getting the storage and everything. I'm learning new words. Perfect. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining and watching and seeing behind the scenes. Hopefully, you'll support all these amazing businesses, whether it's through HDIF or connecting with the artists themselves. I don't think I have anything else to say. So, thank you again. Thank, thank you very you. much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Merci.